Hello there, it's December 28th, 2022, and I'd just like to share with you my BC Birds Wildlife Calendar 2023, the first one I've ever done. The cover is a great blue heron, which I shot uh, in the Brunette River here in Burnaby, British Columbia. Number two is a Northern Harrier, and uh, I usually see these out at Centennial Beach uh, in Delta. Uh, there's what's called the Raptor Trail, and sure enough, you see lots of raptors down there if you're lucky. I like to get down there several times a year and see what I can see. And next, we've got a great blue heron taking a big fish, and this was on Burn Creek right here in southeast Burnaby, about a oh maybe 10 15 minute drive from our place and i'm not sure what the fish is there's been some debate when i posted this online i thought it was a coho and it was just at the beginning of the spawning season on burn creek uh, other people thought it might be a steelhead other people thought it might be some kind of big sea run cutthroat i don't know but uh it's uh i the, and yes the question i get all the time is did the heron actually get the fish down? Yep, no problem. They have amazingly stretchy necks. And next one. Cooper's Hawk. This was shot just like a month or two ago at Deer Lake here in Burnaby, British Columbia. Uh, we had just finished the loop of the lake and heading back towards the parking lot. And there it was, way up high in a tree. Gorgeous birds. And next we have a bald eagle. Now, to be honest, I don't know where I shot this. <laughs> I don't remember. It could have been down on Burn Creek here in Southeast Burnaby. Uh, it could have been at the uh, North 40 Dog Park, uh, again, out in the uh, Delta Richmond area. Uh, I don't really recall. I've got tons and tons of eagle photos, but uh, yeah, I would love to see the eagle soaring high. In fact, I shot a couple today on Burn Creek, so cool. And this is a barn owl, and I have been actually asked not to tell people where I took this picture because uh, they tend to attract bazillions of photographers. Uh, if you let people know where it is, everybody wants to get out there and get a picture. And there are very few of these owls. They're under quite a lot of pressure in our area here. So when I posted this to an owl researcher that I knew, she immediately asked me, you know, please... If you share this online, don't let people know where you took the picture. And she actually knew where it was. She'd already seen it out there. So uh, pretty cool. But yeah, barn owl. Not too often that I get one of those. Next, what do we got here? Hey, Anna's hummingbird. This is right here in Burn Creek too. Um, Burn Creek, uh, we do a lot of patrolling in Burn Creek for spawning salmon in the fall. And we walk it throughout the year. It's just a few minutes out of the back gate of our complex. And yeah, I see lots of Annas uh, on the creek. I see them in Taylor Park here. I see them in Ron McLean Park. Very pretty little birds. And of course, we've got a feeder right outside our front door. And next, a baby barred owl. This is also Burn Creek right here in Burnaby. It's amazing what this little urban creek produces in terms of wildlife. Again, this attracted bazillions of photographers to the point that the city of Burnaby actually had to put up signs uh, asking people to please stay on the trails. Photographers were kind of getting off the trails and trampling things. And um, You know, I love photography, I love birds, but please take a few shots and then move on. Don't just sit there for hour after hour after hour. Uh, there were several of these owlets, their parents were around. The parents did not look that concerned, but I mean, how can you tell if a barred owl is concerned or not? So yeah, please respect the wildlife, folks. Next, a yellow-headed blackbird, and this was actually up in the Nicola Valley uh, a couple of years ago. There's a whole flock of them, and they are really cool-looking birds. And next, a pileated woodpecker. This is also right here in Burnaby. This was down in Fraser Foreshore Park uh, in southeast Burnaby. Magnificent birds. Uh, we see them here on the creek, too. In fact, we saw a family here a few months ago. There was... Uh, uh, both parents and a couple of young ones, and they were uh, pecking away at the trees, getting food. And this is an osprey. Now this is a little further out. This is up at One Mile Lake near Pemberton, British Columbia. It's an area I like to go camping. I like to camp at Nairn Falls there, base myself there for a night or two, and then uh, check out the surrounding area for assorted wildlife. 
And I've been seeing osprey there pretty much every summer for many years now. Very, very cool birds. And moving on, peregrine falcon. Um, this one, I believe I shot at Iona uh, Regional Park out near uh, Vancouver Airport. It's a burning hot spot. You'll see lots of photographers out there on the trails. You'll also see uh, the wild research uh, folks out there. They have a little hut there where they do bird banding and bird uh, research. A uh, very cool place to wander around. And I actually saw a peregrine here on Burn Creek too this summer. Uh, I was so surprised that I didn't even realize it was a peregrine until I got home and started looking at the pictures more closely and saw the distinctive black patch under the eye. And what else did we get here? Oh, I think this might be the last one. Cedar Waxwing. Also on Burn Creek in Southeast Burnaby, but this one was down in Fraser Foreshore Park. Again, very beautiful birds. They have these lovely uh, haircuts. <laughs> and I just love their colors. Uh, you know, browns and blacks and yellows and the little red and yellow details. Very pretty birds. So that's my 2023 wildlife calendar. And it's available, um, you can check out my website at sapivnik.com, C-I-P-Y-W-N-Y-K.com. Or you can follow me on Twitter, at Paul C, at Paul C. And these are available for purchase. Unfortunately, I've only been able to find a U.S. Uh, fulfillment site, so they're in U.S. dollars and U.S. shipping rates. Uh, next year, I hope to get these done somewhere in Canada as well, a new fresh calendar for next year. Thank you for listening.